Welcome back to SnowRunner, guys, and in this video, we are going to be jumping into something that is extremely, extremely exciting. So, if you guys remember the original Canadian Runner map, which is not a map at all related to the Yukon, Canadian Runner was a mod region concept created by one of the map creators a long, long time before we ever got access to the Yukon maps. Now, he has followed up his first Canadian Runner map with Canadian Runner 02, the Volcano. Now, as you can see, this map is already, like, kicking things off to a really cool start by literally starting you on a boat. This is the first map I think I've ever seen where you actually legitimately start on a boat. You start off in a Paystar with a flatbed, and without any further ado, without any more rambling on, I'm gonna go ahead and hop in to this pay star we're gonna fire it up and we're gonna see what this map is all about now i will say disclaimer there's way way too much map here for me to explore in one video because if i did that it would probably be like a five hour long video but we're gonna try and explore as much as we can and uh let's see what happens all right so we got our pay star fired up we're gonna ease our way off the boat we also have a hummer down there uh or back there as well if we want to uh if we want to use that so easing ourselves down off the boat. Now right here, what is this? What is that? What is this icon even? Okay, so it's cargo management. Loading area, so bricks, blocks, slabs. Okay, so it's bricks, blocks, and slabs. And that's literally like, that's all you get. Which makes sense though, because that's what the ship is loaded down with. So I'm gonna back up real quick and see what we can grab from this one. Probably the same stuff. No, actually. Medium pipes, large pipe, which we don't have a suitable uh, cargo arrangement for, and small pipes. So basically pipes only. We also have a construction trailer back here, which I'm sure we will be using for a mission a little bit later on in this playthrough. This is probably going to be something that I'm going to take on on a stream. Because, yeah, okay, we got a trailer store right here as well, which we've got our IX-8 slots. And we can also do a fuel trailer if need be, but... I don't think I'm going to need one right off the bat. At least I'm hoping I don't. But at the same time, let's stay out of the mud because we're dealing with a, well, a street tire pay star right now. And let me tell you, these street tire trucks go nowhere in the mud. So what do we have to do first? So let's see. Concrete load zone, general load zone. So we got the garage right there. Beautiful. 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 So let's actually go and just kind of get ourselves solid and situated in the garage. What is that? Fuel? Is that maybe like the way you get out of the garage? All right. So we got, we've moved into the garage. And real quick, I am going to... Let's see. So that's the other thing too is that you start off again, since it's a new map uh, playthrough, you start off as a level one account. Albeit with, you know, basically unlimited money since he's enabled that for this mod map. But... Uh, it's gonna be a little bit, uh, it's gonna be a little bit sketchy starting out. So, let's see, OHD2, OHD3, uh, OHS1, that might be decent. What about, you know what, I'm just gonna go with the, uh, MHS1s, because that's really the only thing that we're getting, like, access to here, and since we have that unlimited money, I'm just gonna kinda go, just gonna kinda go nuts, uh, with the, uh, with the add-ons here. I'm gonna, mm, I'm gonna swap out that flatbed for a sideboard bed, just because it'll be a little bit safer, and I'm not gonna spend too long on the customization, I'm gonna probably just throw beans on the dash, so we can have him with us, and I'm gonna change up the color combination to a, ooh, orange with a black stripe, I dig that, alright, so let's set off, so what is that other square, I'm gonna stay out of the main one right there, is that just another way to get into the garage? What are you? Oh, I guess you don't do anything. That's strange. I guess you don't do anything. All right. Now, are you a... Hold on. What about my transmission? Balanced. Oh, that's all you get. All righty then. Well, I guess that, that... I guess that really is all we get. All right. So, are you a task? Man, I'm seeing semi-trailers all over the place. Greetings! There you are! You've arrived exactly on time! My employer sent me here to welcome you. I guess he arrived in that, uh, in that Durango. I've been told that you are not here, or sorry, that you are here for the job as a truck driver. You will not run out of jobs for the next few days here. We have several investors who see great potential for this island. 
Now, let me show you the first construction site that is under contract with GR Enterprises Company. I'm going to go ahead and, well, yeah, dude, we'll accept the crap out of that. Find GR Enterprises construction site number one. Dude, there's so many, like, there's so many semi-trailers out here. I cannot believe how many semi-trailers there are. All right, so to the left, we got the town, we got the farm, and to the right, we got the airfield and the lumber mill. Now, I did thumb through some of the screenshots of this map, and I can tell you that there is an airstrip. There is a hang glider launch site, which is going to be the yeet site, let's call it. I can already see us yeeting loads of things off of that. So let's see what we've got going on a little bit further up ahead. So I'm assuming that this is going to be the way to go. Thing is handling itself real well with this, like, I mean, standard engine, balanced gearbox, all-wheel drive on. I haven't had to put it in low range yet. Definitely a first gear, uh, a first gear climb, though, for sure, if you live in an automatic mode. Ain't that right, Beans? Beans' voice is a little bit, a uh, little bit <laughs> iffy today. It's a little muted. Man, <laughs> it's horn. This horn sounds like you've put, like, I don't know, like, a bunch of filters, like, over the end of the horn. So now it's just like, <laughs> wonder how far away this construction site actually is. Beautiful island landscape, though. It's, it's such a new take on, oh, rock crawling trail. But no, like, beautiful take on map creation. You can tell that there's been countless hours absolutely poured into the visual and aesthetic aspects of this uh, of this region. Now let's see. Hey, there's the there's the first construction site. Now, if you were in a mud truck, you could go left. I am not in a vehicle of that sort, so I am not going to do that. Although I can tell you that it was very smart of me to uh, to throw these mud tires on here before heading out because there's like no pavement, at least not yet. Not until you get probably closer to town the other direction. Hey, let's actually back in there and get that get that watchtower unlocked. Throw that diff lock on real quick just to make it a little bit easier for us. And there we go. Southwood Bridge Part 1 discovered, which is another task. But, yo, that's really cool. So we've got actually another... Okay, so you have to basically build another uh, dock site out there. That's a really cool idea. And this map is by no means small. I mean, look how much space there is. Look how much freaking space there is. You could spend so much time out here. Absolutely insane amounts of time. All right, let's make our way out to this next construction site real quick. Try not to hang out on the side quests for too long. We'll do the side quests later. The side quests are more of a stream thing. But the main quests are more for like, especially when we're trying to introduce ourselves to this to this environment and introduce you guys to this environment. I'm definitely more keen on staying on task in accordance with the way the map wants you to sort of do things and carry out uh, different operations. So let me put it back into automatic mode and it should just kick itself right up until, wow, this is a muddy mess. I'm assuming we'll have to, uh, we'll have to build the, the like paved area as well. All right, got that done. Heck yeah, boy. What is this? Cargo management. All right, consumables, special cargo, wooden planks, metal beams, fuel, medium pipes, drilling equipment, concrete slabs, cement, small pipes, secure container. Oh my God. You have access to like everything out there. I did not expect, I expected it to have like half of that. I expected to like thumb through most of that and then go, oh, that's it. But no, there's, it kept just, it, it just kept saying, oh, but wait, there's more. Now, the only thing is, uh, I, oh my god, these are the contracts, holy smokes, so those are exploration contracts, these are holy, look at all the stuff you have to build, whoa, Blackbird, we got residential projects, and then Tega Oil, we've got, like, specifically oil-based contracts, oh my god, but all of those are locked, yeah, this is gonna take, this is gonna take some time, it's not only going to take some time, but it's going to take some patience and it's going to take some real dedication. Like, you're going to have to dedicate to this even more so than you would dedicate to a standard in-game map. Although, I'm a little confused as to where I'm supposed to... Ooh. Oh, Southwood Bridge 1. All right, all right. Actually, aha, 
I'm going to get wooden planks for that, because I bet you that is a wood bridge building contract. And you know what? I'm going to get the leg up on that. Yes. See, I'm not always a blithering idiot. Only occasionally. I just don't like that this thing doesn't have a backup beeper. You just have to, you just have to either, either imagine it in your head, or you have to imitate it yourself. Hold on. Where is my concrete slab? What a planks. Boom, boom. All right, let's get out of here. Get that right, beans. We'll get on to the job site, my dude. My little four-legged dude. All right, let's go ahead and make a quick right out here. And I'm going to give a quick honk to alert any traffic because I ain't stopping. <laughs> These ruts are deep, though. I mean, they were made for big trucks like this. Definitely, if you were going to do some scouting, I'd, oh, I have learned my lesson the hard way too many times. I'm going around the side of that. Yeah, no, forget that crap. That is that is not something I want to get this thing stuck in right off the bat. But no, we're actually holding our own in fifth gear, which is really, really admirable, I think, for this thing. Just absolutely rocking it. Now, these two units are probably not going to take care of this whole bridge. We'll probably have to run back for a little bit more, but I'm not worried about it. Except, start tracking, and... Hello there! Yeah, we need two more, which we can just ever so easily just run back and get it's literally not hard at all but let me go ahead and throw that diff lock on so we can get the turning radius we need well i was gonna say so we can kind of you know just get everything to hook up a little bit better but at the end of the day i mean it's still gonna be it's still gonna be a little bit iffy i mean who are we who are we kidding here it's still gonna be a little bit iffy so let's make our way back down to the other uh back well back down to the previous loading site I love this interior. It's all business, you know? It's all business, but, like, at the end of the day, it gets the job done. And it's a great truck. It really is. The Paystar is one of those workhorse trucks that, even in a configuration like this, it works great. And, ha, 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 I have figured out a uh, little cut-through between your stumps. I've figured out how to avoid said mud. There are probably going to be some people that are a little unhappy with me for that. But you know what? You know what? Don't worry about it. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Don't worry about it. <laughs> oh, God. Got the front axle off the ground there. Hello. Oh, no. That's not what I wanted. Get rid of that. All right. Where is... There we go. All right. Second load of wooden planks. Like I said, real easy because it's right down the road. Nothing to worry about. Is there anybody in that outhouse? We're about to find out. Boop! <laughs> Alright, let's make our way back the way we came. Try not to tip it over or anything, but really, if you tip it over between here and the bridge, you're doing something wrong. Although, I also wouldn't put it past me to, uh, to you know, tip, that, <laughs> tip this thing over between here and there. I've done worse. Try not to damage your truck on those stumps. That would not be the preferred outcome for this little mission. All right. Get back out on the road and continue to make our way downtown. Although there is no such sort of downtown in sight. So we'll have to build our way there. All right. Boom. Boom. Hey. Promoted and got that first bridge built. Heck yeah, bud. Just beasting it down through here. About to drop up this last load of wood planks. Skirt yet again. Cargo management and boom, boom. We are done with that. All right. She's good to go. All right. So let's go ahead and get that next watch point uh, taken care of before we finish out for this particular episode. Oh, man. You really do have to build your way through because we got like a fallen rocks contract or, uh, or task literally right there. South roadblock. And then, oh my god. Alright, I'm gonna go to the right. And, let's see. I'm gonna go to the right and try to make my way around this mud. Because, it's not that I don't trust the pay star in the mud. I trust it. I just don't know how intense he has made the mud on this particular map. Because, you know, mud has different intensities. And, sometimes it can be 
like super intense and other times it's like ah that's no big deal at all so i really do want to just kind of get down here unlock this watch point and just set ourselves up for where we're going next all right where are we at what are we working with hey lighthouse oh that's cool that's super sick let's make our way well that doesn't look too deep famous last words Oh, it's not bad. Okay, yeah, it's not bad. I mean, we're doing this in automatic mode with, like, the diffs unlocked. Whoa, look at that. That's like a mudslide or something right there. Rock slide, mudslide, something like that. That's pretty interesting. Where is my... Okay, yeah, no, we're good. I'm just gonna use this as a way to kind of get around. What the heck? Oh! Yo, that's actually a really cool design element. Look, that massive rock tumbled down that hill and left that like chasm in its path that is so cool and the fact that look it's even pushed up against that tree and it has made the tree curve a little bit these design elements are mind-blowing man they're absolutely mind-blowing and plus i think we can fit through these trees i'm pretty dang sure we can fit through here oh yeah well well not so fast there, bub. Maybe. Oh, it's gonna be tight. If we do fit, it's gonna be only just. There you go. Yeah, not bad. Easy peasy. All right, where's my lighthouse? There it is. Oh, dude, look at this beach area. That's sick. That's so cool. Little safety winch there just to kind of grab myself. But, oh man. Whoa! That's... That's bad. Oh god. Oh no. Yeah, let's get ourselves out of that because I could already see a very, very, very stuck truck scenario coming out of that. But... In the next episode, we'll figure out how to get to that watch point without sinking our truck completely. And we will also get some more tasks done. So, welcome to Canadian Runner 02. Hope you guys enjoyed this first look. And if you did, make sure to let me know your thoughts and opinions in the comment section down below. Hit that like button if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you're new. And I'll see you guys next time.